Hey everyone, this is Ross, and in today's video, I want to go over a really special variety with you guys, a special fig variety. It's called Sucret, and it comes from France. And I'm really trying to make a nice, special point to review certain varieties that I find to be superior. You know, I have a whole bunch of different varieties that are ripening up right now. We're growing, I think, somewhere around 200 varieties right now. And there's only so much time and so much energy that can be spent reviewing certain varieties and I figure I've got to re review the best ones and this is certainly one of the best ones. It comes from France, from Bode's collection originally and it's been in the United States for quite some time so it's, it's probably not that difficult to find but if you want to find out really good information on this fig go on Bode's website. If you just type in fig plus bode b-a-u-d in google it'll come up and his website will show up and you'll see all the information on this variety it's called sucret um, to me it seems like a very productive variety it seems mid-season um, it seems like a variety that is quite rain resistant however i had some issues with splitting although it seems like it's kind of slowed down that splitting problem and as it got older and more mature I don't really see that becoming an issue. Um, it has really good rain resistance and I find that it's been able to sort of dry up on the tree. It gets these really awesome sugar spots to it. Kind of like most yellow skinned figs is they get these spots on them when they really develop those sugars. And uh, it's kind of ugly you could say, but uh, I think that's a really nice sign of ripeness and a nice sign of when these figs are, are really at the tastiest point. Um, it's got a nice complex berry flavor. It's got some honey in there and it's got a nice dense thick pulp that I want to show you guys here in just a moment. But you can see the nice productivity. I've already picked plenty of figs off of here. We did get one Brava. You can get this fig from UC Davis uh, if, they're, if they'll let you. Um, so this is in the United States in the US collection of the USDA. Um, and I honestly believe that the Bode version is the same thing as the USDA version. So for those of you guys who have either one of those, um, check out the leaf pattern. Check out the fig I'm about to show you guys. It should be an exact match. But there is, however, many different Sucret versions out there, it seems like. There's even a different fig called Sucret Verte, I think, or Sucret Vert, something like that. I can't remember if that's if that's correct but you got to find the right one unfortunately and this is it and i've been seeing a lot of the figs unfortunately having this weird thing here at the eye where it doesn't form correctly but that hasn't really seemed to bother my palate doesn't seem to bother me at all and uh yeah we have it cut open here and let me try it it's got a nice berry flavor to it i think it's getting a bit cool outside now so the figs are slowing down we don't really have the sugar spots that I was hoping for. It's a bit underripe, unfortunately, but uh, let's try it. Yeah. It's still very good. And you can definitely pick up, you know, that things are definitely cooling down here at night and it's slowing down that ripening process and the figs are not getting their full flavor. but. It really does have a nice, pleasant flavor that is, uh, you know, I would say moderate, intense berry that's quite complex, kind of like the Bordeaux type berry figs, the Col de Dame types. And it has that really awesome pulp to it that's quite thick. And it's just a wonderful fig. Again, this is called Sucret. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll catch you all later for more reviews. Take care.